really just get this is how I'm gonna have life by the neck and I don't know like but that's how it got me that's how it got me <laughs> like I'm so awkward <laughs> but um hey guys it's me Jo mm -hmm. I don't know but um just welcome back to my channel um if you are new here you are watching love Jo and today we're just gonna be having a little discussion while I do my makeup so I really want to just I don't know just to summarize everything up, like I really just want to um, try something new with my makeup. I've just, I don't know, I've been going through a lot. I've been going through a lot, like a lot, a lot. And like, I feel like I haven't had as many chances to just, you know, just look cute. So I'm going to do it for YouTube. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to, I don't know, do my makeup. And then we're going to talk about... Uh, mid-twenties crisis <laughs> um, let me go ahead and pin my hair back and we can just get into the video yeah get into the video yeah okay so yeah so i really feel like uh, i don't even know how to describe it but i just really feel like you know um times are really really hard right now especially like if you're like my age or older um just for context i am 24 um and <laughs> it's a it's a little hard out here it's hard being like a full-blown like adult and i feel like that's what like having like a mid-20s crisis is really about because it's just like Who's gonna tell me? <laughs> Ain't nobody tell me nothing. Y'all know. Y'all know. Like, that's how I feel. Like, anybody tell me nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, so, yeah. I just feel like anybody tell me nothing. Or maybe they did and I just wasn't listening. So y'all already know the deal. Like y'all know I love my eyebrows and I don't use nothing but the hold on. If you know they keep trying to focus on me, focus on this. Boom. So I only use the NYX brow glue and stuff like that. So on my brows I just go back and forth but this is not a tutorial so this is yeah it's just a chit chat get ready with me so yeah I just feel like a lot of like this sense of just like crisis just comes from the fact that like now like I am just like a fool like blown adults um because i feel like you know in like in college and stuff like that like you have like that community you have like your other friends and just like very like close proximity and stuff like that and you still feel like that sense of community like you're not you know just here or just anywhere like by yourself like you know what i'm saying and then like transitioning out of that like whether you move back home or like move out and you know like just go straight into everything full throttle it is just a little bit different this is Too Faced shade honey um it could be like a little yeah a little different um what i did like just like really just like I don't know find out is that like uh 
Life is hard and I'm going through a lot and it's not really just you know the me like living on my own and stuff like that and of course like being away from my family is very hard especially like with everything that's going on right now um it's really hard so I'm sorry I have to change the lighting but I've been doing things that like help me make me feel good so like on my list of things that make me feel good that make me feel like i'm not in this like crisis era like i just broke it down into parts because i feel like during your 20s like all of these start to i'm just talking with my hands i need to be moving to us in our mid-20s and stuff like that um especially with like everything that's going on in our world so many like life changing things, so many record breaking things, living through so much history and stuff like that. It gets draining. So I just broke it down into like a couple parts basically because I feel like one way or the other, um, my life is changing because of these things and for these things. So that goes for my health, money, goals career uh love life and then my social life so like all of those things are like either making me have like a little freak out moment like oh my gosh this will never end <laughs> like or i'll be like okay like i got this i got this and then it really depends on the day like how i feel about it so the first thing that i want to talk about is basically um my health even though like i'm not i don't i'm not like in a health decline thank god um it's true what they say it's true what they say because like i feel like i've always just um i don't know been just like so small my entire life and i'm not saying that i'm not small or anything like that because like clearly um I have eyes I can see but I feel like I my body is like changing in so many ways like so fast and it kind of is just like you know freaking me out a bit so I've just been like taking the initiative to like start really just like going to the gym <laughs> getting in the gym and like doing what I need to do so I, I don't know I just I go to the gym for a few reasons um really just to you know get my body the way that I want it to be and then also have like that stress reliever for when I feel like other parts of my life are just like spinning out of control and I've been in the gym almost every single day or at least doing some type of physical activity almost every single day and then I've also just been making sure that I've been like eating well because believe it or not, what you eat does like contribute to your mood and like, you know, how tired you are, how up you are, you know, stuff like that. So I've really just been trying to take care of my body <laughs> so that I can feel better, so that I can tackle things the right way <laughs> if you know me you know i love to cook my friend <laughs> my friend here be calling me jordan ramsey because like i really be cooking i just been really just trying to take care of myself and like work that out and find different ways to like bring myself joy that don't involve like spending money or like um just being reckless the next thing that be having me in a tiffy because sometimes i be like oh my gosh i'm doing so well and that sounds like, <sighs> <sighs> like there's nothing in the bank <laughs> then it's my money like i'd be like oh you're doing good go go buy something from someplace <laughs> And that is not the answer all the time. And like now that I'm like an adult and I'm like living it out, <laughs> I see that that don't be the best idea all the time. 
working on like how to manage my money better and stuff like that so I can stay up and not stuck. <laughs> it's really just like, it's really testing um, to say the least. Once I master like, yeah, my money and I'm not saying like, I'm just like oh, so careless or whatever, but I just feel like if I want it, I'm gonna get it. And I always get it, like, <laughs> always get it. But there's a time and a place for everything. I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. Sometimes like I spend money to make myself feel better or to like, just like block out the noise. Like retail therapy is a very, 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 very real thing to me. <laughs> I've just been trying to get on my budget girl stuff and like really hit my monetary goals. Um, just been trying to really just be like consciously just like making sure that like I'm doing everything okay. Just you know planning, 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 planning. I'm gonna use this for this and use this for this and put this in here and don't touch it. <laughs> so like that's really just like how I've been with my money. So improvements. But I really still feel like I'm drowning because I feel like I need this, this, and this, and this, this, and this. But I just got here. Everything will be okay. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about are my goals. Because I feel like, you know, when you're in your 20s and stuff like that, and you're just like leaving college and you're trying to really figure out what you want to do in the world or how you want to make your impact and stuff like that it's really just it's really hard to just i don't know it's really hard to juggle that and everything else if my goals um I really want to like make more time and put more effort into like my con I can't even talk my content creation. I want to um get on like starting my nonprofit. I feel like the one big thing I wanna do before I leave this earth is give back in a big way. So like I've been doing research into that, trying to find like, you know, like different lawyers and stuff to meet up with and really just get the ball rolling for that like trying to find like different grants and stuff like that so that has been really a work in progress for me and then like school just trying to finish school so i can be big lady architect and that's a lot of school right there so <laughs> listen when i make it y'all everybody's invited like when i make it and i build my first whatever please god please god when i build my first like whatever hopefully like i don't know my building for my not profit you know <laughs> please god please god seriously though like <laughs> that's like I don't know like that's what I want to do but I really to see like how fast my goals and everything are just like manifesting into my life it is it's scary but it's also very 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 like reassuring um because there are like certain points in my life where I just thought like, oh, it can never be me. It can never be me. Or, oh, I can never have that. I can never have that. And the same stuff that I was praying about this time last year, I'm living in it. And don't cry. Do not cry. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, don't cry. It's just such a blessing. Like you can see like how far like I've come um, and how hard like I've prayed to be like in the position that I am in now. And I, I owe it all to God. <laughs> and I thank my friends and family so much 
like every day to like just being here for me and supporting me and like making sure that I don't like give up on my dreams and then the next thing is you know my career like I just told y'all like what like I'm still in school for like it is just so hard it's so hard it's such like a male dominated space it's such like people who look like me do not dominate those spaces so it's just been like really hard just trying to really just get a steady foot on the ground it's time to like practice and like work on my craft even with like youtube and stuff like that I always try to find time to do like research to do like you know yeah research just watching other people's videos to get like ideas and stuff like that and then like looking up new ways to edit this or new ways to edit that and how to grow here and how to grow there and really just trying to build myself up to put myself out there to you guys it's just it just makes me feel like so unsure sometimes that it drives me insane because I feel like I'm such an outlier that like it can never be me but I've always just proven myself wrong in that sense so I've been trying to like get yeah I've been trying to like get out of that like, really when it comes to like my mid-20 crisis as far as like my career I just feel like I'm just having a lot of trouble I don't know just like believing in myself the next thing I'm going to talk about is like love and dating this is the fit me um powder foundation in shade 330 you know i am dating um i feel like yeah i just need to set boundaries like do not do that to me do not do that to me do not do that to me I can say like with all of the relationships that I have been in, they have had like some really good like longevity. And I'm not talking about like a few months or whatever. I'm talking about like a year plus like have been like my relationships. And then like you get that far and you think like, oh, nothing will ever happen. And then you gotta put your foot down. And it sucks. <laughs> I just really just been taking my time and really just doing what I want to do and just really standing firm, firm, firm on my boundaries. And I feel like the next like chit chat get rid of me might just be like solely about dating because I have learned so much about that. I think I might actually just so I don't know, like <sighs> dating don't really be having my head like I'm a because I have so much other stuff going on um I really don't feel like I can devote that much time to dating right now like how I thought I would be able to um but it's still like worth a shot like I'm not being like no <laughs> It's just like, you know, like if I meet somebody and I like them, yeah, we go out. But if you don't, if we don't mesh well, then it's like no hard feelings, but I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like same thing like with my dating life. I just feel like I don't have enough time to like really like spend with my friends. And then also like I have my friends way all the way up there in Chicago. <laughs> With who I miss like so so much um I love my housewives dearly <laughs> shout out to y'all and then I have my best friend and I have my sister and my mom and my family my grandma and I love her so much I love her so much and I just feel like I feel like I didn't get to spend as much time with them as like I wanted to but I also feel like I could have spent all the time in the world and then moved after that and still like felt the same way so 
it is just like you know it's no time like the present but of course like it's a lot going on and i just feel like i'm just left out and not a part of it and it makes me really sad and i know like i feel i seem like i'm joking but i'm actually like sad is a t double hockey sticks so um <laughs> so yeah it's just been like really hard i just feel like i'm alone and i'm by myself and it hurts sometimes and like not seeing my friends and then just like working so much like working you know work and then this is also work but it's a fun work but it's also work and then trying to get like different areas of my life started up or like keeping them on track is also work and i just feel like it's not like a healthy balance right now because I just feel like if any time's the time to grind, now's the time to grind. Because like I want to do so much. I want to spend so much time here or there and everywhere with like my friends and my family. But I also have like responsibilities. So my work life balance is like really just suffering a lot. Um and yeah. But yeah i feel like i am going to start making a conscious effort to just really work on everything that like i've talked about today i feel like i'm a brand new adult a brand new baby adult and I'm just trying to really just get my foot in all the doors, have my seat at all the tables, and enjoy life in the same moment without, you know, just having to stress about work or, um, or, you know, like not being there for my friends. Like I want to, I want to have it all. But in order to have it all, you have to sacrifice, don't be greedy. So I've really just been trying to find like the proper balance between all of my goals and all the things that I want to do in life. And while also just, you know, navigating and, you know, using my gifts to really just make my mark on the world. So, while I do all the things, and I meet all the peoples, and I sit at every table that I wanna sit in, or sit in, sit at, <laughs> while I do all the things that I never thought I could, in Jesus' name, <laughs> like seriously, in Jesus' name. Like, I just hope that, like, you know, I can one day look back at this, at this video and just be like, I freaking do it. <laughs> like, that's really just, like, how I want to, like, look back at my life. Like... Who was going to tell me it was going to be some big shot thing? Like, <laughs> that's like, I don't know. That's like the direction I want to go in with my life. So, I just want to end this video off by saying thank you guys so much. Um, thank you to everybody who just stayed and watched the whole video. I want to thank you. A special, special thank you to all my new snooties. Um, it's been like just so great, like you know, just like finding my tribe, finding my people, and engaging with you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support, and you know, like being very encouraging towards me and stuff like that. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I do see you guys. Um, I try to like comment back every time you guys comment and it really just warms my heart to do so. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, 
and if you sat here and you watched the whole video and you watched me bear my soul to you <laughs> subscribe to the channel it only makes sense and then and then you can come back when i be talking about the other stuff so <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a great day night morning or whenever you're watching this and as always love joe love you sweeties <laughs>